Hi guys, it's Kelly here and I am back with another video. Today's video is actually featuring the new March 2018 release from W Plus 9. And um, there's a, like so many just gorgeous, wonderful, amazing flowers. You know I love me some flowers um, that are coming out in this release. So, but I picked this one. It's called Sympathy Lilies and it is the largest bouquet. And um, I just super loved it. And so I wanted to use it. I'm using Fairy Dust Inked from W Plus 9. I am going to be doing some No Line watercoloring. Um, this is a very, very pale ink. I'm going to actually have to stamp it twice so that we can even see it. Um, and I'm working on Canson watercolor paper. So um, I'm going to stamp it down and then I'm going to do the painting with Daniel Smith watercolors. With dye inks, the, ink, the, the line that you're stamping will not completely disappear. You should note that. Um, it actually kind of like grabs the pigment and makes the lines more apparent when you paint over them. Um, and if you're using darker colors, it isn't really anything that you're even going to notice. I'm actually going to use a little trick to help me um, later on in the painting. So we're going to start off just nice and slow here. Um, I'm using some Quinn Rose and my preferred method of watercoloring anything no line is more controlled. So I put the pigment down and then blot off the bristles of my paintbrush, go back in with clean water and um, just kind of pull the pigment out into the rest of the petal leaf. You get the idea. Um, I struggled with this a little bit. I struggled with this a little bit. One of the things that I have a hard time with is um, coloring larger areas with this particular technique. And so Dawn had suggested to me using a larger brush. So I'm painting this whole thing with a number eight round brush from the Silver Brush Company. Um, this still did not completely solve my problem. And I think it is really just because I'm so terrified to have too much water. Um, I think it is learning how much water is either too little or too much. And I think in these areas where... Um, it is a little bit larger. I'm using too little water. So for the first two, I did it that way and I wasn't happy with the way it was working. So I was like, well, I'll do it the other way, which is wet on wet. So I wet the entire petal with water and then I'm going back in and dropping in pigment. Um, didn't like that any better, honestly. <laughs> um, I liked it a little less. The reason that I liked it a little less is because when you're doing it that way, your dry time is much longer when you're using the middle, like just putting down the pigment, using minimal amounts of water and pulling the pigment out. Uh, your dry time is almost immediate. So then you can just move right on to the next thing. And that is the number one most frustrating thing for me with watercolor because I am not patient. I don't want to have to wait for it to dry. I just want to be able to paint one right after the other. And um, this one actually went fairly quickly. I think this whole piece took me about an hour and a half-ish, which is um, basically a Copic card for me. So I guess I am getting faster. I said I was using the Quinn Rose, which I am, but then I'm also going in and adding in little dots of Aurelian, which is yellow, a very bright yellow. So here I have my, you can't see it because you guys said you'd like to be zoomed in closer on the painting, but to the left, I have my stamp set laying there so that I can kind of look and see um, what needs to go where, and I was having a little bit of hard time seeing what needs to go where. So sometimes I, and the first petal that I did, that one to the left there, um, I didn't paint the whole thing. <laughs> I thought that it was part of a leaf. It wasn't. It was the rest of the entire petal. As I'm filling in the flower, I'm starting to see the areas that I missed. Thankfully, watercolor is really, really forgiving. And so I could just go back in um, and put down the color that I missed out on. And it doesn't look weird or um, strange or like I missed it at all. If I wouldn't have, like if you wouldn't be watching this video and um, you just saw the completed piece, you wouldn't even notice that I had missed the areas. So I am speeding it up now. Uh, this is about four times the speed in which I was actually painting. Um, <clears throat> I really do, I wanted to do something different. So you're, you're, we're going to watch the whole painting um, so you guys can kind of see the whole thing. There's three different in this particular bouquet. There's three different lilies. Um, one very, very large one, one medium sized one, and one that's kind of like turned on its side. I think the whole bouquet is just brilliant. Um, but anyway, 
so I'm doing them all the same color because this is going to be a um, like an encouragement or a, a sympathy card. It's going to say, I have you in my prayer. So this is just, you know, these are always good cards to have on hand. You hate to use them, um, but it's good to have in case you need to send one to a friend. Um, so anywho, while I was doing this, um, my mama uh, had offered to take my son overnight. Like, let's have a sleepover at Nana and Papa's. And um, so I asked my little peanut, you want to go spend the night at Nana and Papa's? And he was, of course, like, yes, Nana and Papa are the greatest things since sliced bread. And um, but so then I was trying to hang on to him, um, at least until the evening, because um, it's a long day with a toddler. I know, you know, it, it's it, it's a very long day because they're so energetic. I swear he siphons energy um, from my husband and I while we are sleeping, like just sucks the life force right out of us while we're sleeping. And then, you know, he wakes up this little bundle of energy and you are like, I'm a zombie. Um, but anyway, so he kept asking me, when are we going to, when are we going? When are we going? When are we going? And I was like, please let me paint this card, child. Um, but anyway, so then when I went over there, it was finally time. We packed up all of his stuff. He picked out his clothes for school tomorrow, packed it all up in his little Monsters, Inc. book bag or um, suitcase. And then we took it over to my parents. And while I was standing there um, talking to my mom and dad, my mom's like, oh, well, we're going to we're going to go out to dinner. Do you want to go out to dinner? And I was like, I love you, but you are voluntarily taking my son so that I'm not responsible for anybody but myself for one night, there's 0% chance that I'm going to dinner with you. Not that I don't love you. And I'm happy to go to dinner with you on a night where he is my responsibility. But if you're going to take this on, I'm no, I'm going, I'm, I already booked my appointment for my massage. I'm no, <laughs> which I did. And um, I did, I went ahead a, a two hour massage. If you've never had the hot stone massage, do that like right right now go pause the video and go book that for yourself because it was amazing and I won't get to go again for like another two years but um so glad I got to go tonight it was awesome um and then I just I stopped and got my coffee on the way home and then um I came home I had a little bit of something to eat and then I'm going to card make until my heart contents because I don't have to get up in the morning um for anything. Nah, isn't that awesome? I remember what that was like. Um, babies are totally worth it, but um, man, when you get that night off, it's like I'm singing um, Michael or George Michael's Freedom Lighting My Leather Jacket on Fire at the top of my lungs, running out of my parents' house. <laughs> I do love my child, honestly. I do. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're moving on to the Leafs now. And um, here I, I'm using sap green and then I'm adding even more of that yellow in. Um, I had said before that I did all of them the same color. And the reason that I did is because, um, you know, it's it's an encouragement card. I don't want it to be um, like rainbows and butterflies and sunshine. If I'm sending this to, to somebody, it's probably because, you know, there's something that's going on in their life that's not rainbows and butterflies and sunshine. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the one thing that I do like in this set, um, first of all, the font on that prayers, you're going to see at the end is just like, I couldn't love it more. I, it's so beautiful. It's a script font. Um, and it has even the inside, uh, that you would put on the card on the inside. Um, so I, I do like that it's kind of like all encompassing, but you can, because this bouquet is so large and it's just lilies, um, you can use them for other things that are rainbows and sunshine and, and butterflies and all of that stuff. Um, I just chose not to for this particular card. I wanted to keep it a little bit more soft, a little bit more subdued. With that said, this isn't as detailed as I have been in the past. Um, it is a little bit more washy and I'm good with that. So remember earlier I was talking about how I was going to use this technique to that of the color grabbing that dye ink. Here's how I'm going to do it. So I'm putting down some clean, clear water um, and then I'm adding in, it's a mixture of uh, ultramarine turquoise and ultramarine blue. And 
you can see it's starting to make those leaves, those little tiny leaves, much more visible, which is great for me because I was having a very hard time seeing them uh, because I stamped them in such a light ink. So as this dries and those become more visible, then it's going to be even easier for me to be able to go back in there and paint them darker. Um, again, kept my color palette um, pretty simple for this. And I'm going to, um, once I have everything just kind of blended out here, I'm going to um, go in and paint those leaves. Um, they almost look like, I don't know, like little ferns or something. Um, I'm going to paint them with just the straight ultramarine turquoise. So for the background, I used the mixture of the two colors, but for the leaves, I'm just using the color straight out of the tube. Um, I did not keep dipping my paintbrush back in. I switched to a number two round brush, by the way. Um, I did not keep dipping my paintbrush back in to the paint. I would just kind of use it until it was gone. So that way there were some different values in the, the color. Some were darker, some were lighter. Um, since I'm not using two different colors, here for this one, I actually had a lot of dark on my paintbrush. So I just did little lines of dark and then I did the same kind of thing that I did with the rest of the painting. I wet my brush, I blotted it off, and then went back in and, and pulled the color out on those particular leaves. So moving on to the next step, I'm not going to make you watch every single leaf. Um, I did want to kind of add back in the centers. I, the reason I'm being so still is because I'm actually looking at my stamp. Um, and so I went in with a mixture of the um, brown and um, quin gold and did just a couple of little dots for the very tips of the stamen and then went back in and did some very just thin lines to kind of add that detail back in. It's the only place that I added detail back in. Once the entire thing was dry, I am going to go in with my die cut because, like I said in the beginning, I wanted a little bit of a different look. Um, I like one layer cards. I love one layer cards. Who are we kidding? But sometimes it's nice to kind of mix things up. So here I thought it would be kind of fun to die cut out the watercolor piece. And then what I did was I stamped the stamp again on another piece of watercolor paper. For the one on the bottom left, you're actually going to be able to see that one, so I painted it the same way. For the one on the top right, it's really just kind of filling in that corner, so I was not um, detailed about it at all. Very, very blobby painting in the top right-hand corner, but it doesn't matter because this um, the piece that we painted very detailed is going to sit on top of it. Here I have a piece of Coal Mine W plus 9 cardstock. I'm going to do some heat embossing on that. I thought that um, the gray would kind of be a nice complement to the color palette I already had going on. And so I treated it with my powder tool. I'm going to stamp down this Prayers stamp. Um, still in love with this font. That has not changed. I still think it's gorgeous. And then the other um, portion of the sentiment, um, which says, uh, you are in my... So once that was done, stamp, I stamped in Versamark, if I didn't say that. And then I'm just going to use some White Simon Says Embossing Powder to sprinkle that on. And I always have my heat gun um, heating up the entire time I'm doing all of this part, so that by the time I get to um, the actual uh, heating of the embossing powder, I have very minimal warping because it doesn't take very long at all. I'm going, you want to wait until after it cools, by the way, because if you touch it while it's still hot, you can, in fact, smudge it. Um, I'm going to put that die in place, run it through my big shot, and then here I kind of have all of my pieces parts. I have put a copious amount of um, foam tape on the back of this die cut panel, and I'm just pulling off those little edges. I'm going to position that in the top right, uh, mostly top right hand corner. Um, and so see, you can see like that blobby part at the top. You're not, you can't even see it. It's just filler. I wanted to put the sentiment so it's slightly overhung. So on the left hand side, so underneath like the line for the P and prayers, I'm putting like the world's smallest piece of foam tape. This isn't really to adhere it. It's more of just a stabilizer so that that piece isn't um, like floppy or it doesn't get caught and like ripped off. And then I'm just going to use um, Tombow Mono Multi Glue on the rest of the word and adhere that on top of um, the I don't want to say the die cut piece, the watercolor piece. There we go. I get, you know what I'm saying. On top of the flowers, guys. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing for um, the little like label piece that I've cut out that completes the sentiment. Um, 
I didn't want to add a whole lot to it because again, whoever's receiving this probably isn't rainbows and butterflies and fairy tales. Um, but I did want a little something that kind of brought the focus to the sentiment. And so I'm just using some clear sequins to do that. I like to put clear glossy accents on top when I am done so that it stays. And then that's the whole card. So I would encourage you to head over um, to the blog. I have the whole uh, release linked there or head over to the W plus nine blog. There's a ton more inspiration. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining me and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.